Welcome to YouTube Live Capture Lesson. And what I want to do is showcase what we're doing today. We have YouTube Live set up to do a recording. So we're going to send our screen live to Google Hangouts, as well as recording it on a video camera, recording it through YouTube Live using a webcam. We're also going to be sending our screen to YouTube as well, doing a desktop uh, presentation. And what we're going to do is go ahead and tell it to go live now. And this is going to bring up our Google Hangouts. And we'll click OK on that. And I'm going to move my window up a little bit. And so here you are. You can see my screen as well as what we're doing here. Now, what I want to do is show you that there is a percentage that's going up. You can also see the infinite loop because we're recording uh, me and we're showing that recording up on the screen. We'll wait for that percentage to get up to a high enough level for us to start our broadcast and we'll begin. And now what I want to do is go ahead and start the broadcast. And I'm going to click on start broadcast and now I am live here on uh, YouTube. Now what I want to do is I'm going to drag this screen over to my alternative screen, my second screen, so that this broadcast window does not show here. Um, that's because I want to use my other display, the display that's coming up on my board, I want to be showing that desktop. So we'll go ahead and move that over and I'll move that all the way over so now that's off my screen. Uh, you can go ahead and just assume that I'm still online, but now I'm seeing uh, windows that were underneath. I'm going to minimize this one. And here we are in Photoshop, and this is where maybe you'd be starting your lesson. So you'd bring up the uh, program that you want to present. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this picture, and this picture has major problems with it. You can see that there are... Um, Lots of uh, darkness here on the figures, and what we want to do is fix that darkness issue. And so what we want to do is showcase this image, this project, onto our desktop. So I need to go over to my live Google Chrome, and just to make you understand what we're doing here, is we're going to do a screen share, and I'm going to tell it to screen share Photoshop, and I'm going to go ahead and click start screen share and pull my window back over. Now, if you have uh, it on the same window, right, uh, your Google Hangouts will move back behind this and you can actually see that that's behind it. But first what we're going to do is go ahead and edit this picture and fix it. Uh, the way you'd want to fix something like this, uh, where you have a nonlinear shape that's dark, uh, it's underexposed, you see, you could turn up the exposure and brighten it up, but you see that brightens up everything else and we lose our cloud. So I'm going to double click that and tell it to go back to where it was. What I'm going to do is jump over to the uh, filter that looks like a brush. And this is an adjustment brush. And the adjust uh, adjustment brush allows you to maneuver some of these features individually. So we can adjust things like exposure, contrast, right here in that one spot. So. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my brightness and exposure are up pretty high. You can see how that's up pretty high right now. And I want to add a pin. So I'm just going to put a pin here in my figure. And what I want to do is show, make sure that we have our um, proper settings. We want to have auto mask checked. Auto mask is going to make it to where the image stays straight on, or the brightness stays straight on these parts of the image and it doesn't brighten up other parts we don't want. So we're going to make sure auto mask is on. Then I just simply paint in, and I want to make sure that I don't go have my cursor go outside the shape. Okay? And you can see how I can spend some time just brightening up the figures. Right? All right? And so on. Now you want to make sure you don't put the cursor outside the shape. And obviously I'm doing this as a little quick uh, demonstration, so it's not really important that we get it perfect. But uh, if you were in a show mask, you could see that there are some spots where it didn't come through. If that's the case, 
What you do is fix those by turning off auto mask, making your size of your brush pretty small, and just go ahead and paint back over those really carefully, not going outside the edge. So get there, get his ear, and so forth. And turn off the show mask, and you can see that we have gone ahead and done that. We'll go click open image, which is the underneath. And now this will show up in Photoshop, and where you can see that it has been fixed. Now, obviously I would have spent more time on that, making sure everything's exactly where it needs to be. But nevertheless, the lesson's over, great. We'll go ahead and just uh, minimize that. And then when I minimized it, notice that it brought uh, the Google app straight back up. If I was um, using or at a computer closer, working on a computer, I would see that the um, little option over here on the left, these options, you just have to click back on the screen share again and that would turn off the screen share. So at this point, what we've done is we've shown you how to actually bring up a video, make it um, record to YouTube. That desktop would have been saved as part of the broadcast on YouTube. And now I can use that as a lesson anytime I need. I can just point people to that lesson. We'll go ahead and stop the broadcast here and that will turn off uh, the broadcast. I also could have hit the little hang up option as well. Once that happens, I am now good to go. This is done. And we'll go ahead and leave the call and close. And now if I return back to my um, YouTube here, you can see that I've gotten that and it's already completed. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck. Happy broadcasting.